Mark Scotch from Plover, Wisconsin, and the Donor Hero Award. Well, Chris Klug um, organization sends out um, flyers, I guess you will, to for people that want to be nominated, and we got nominated. We didn't even know about the organization beforehand. So I started something called the Oregon Trail, and it's a, bi a bicycle ride kind of a thing. So not only did we donate our kidney and me and my liver as well, uh, also ride bicycle across the United States to try to create awareness and really to demonstrate that people can donate kidneys or livers as living donors and live a completely normal life afterwards. And that's really the message we try to get out, that there's a need and people can do it and live a normal life. Well, I've, I've been a mountain biker for 20 years, so it was just natural for me to go with bikes because that's what I was doing before my, I donated and I wanted to continue on afterwards. So it wasn't like a choice, it was, just, it was just my lifestyle and that's what we try to get across. My story is a good example. My wife and I both, we had no idea what was going on that there is this need for living donors. They're just, when we read that 13 people die every day in the United States waiting for a kidney transplant, it basically stunned us that we didn't know this as older people and we feel we're informed but once we started digging into it, we found out we really weren't. So in addition to wanting to help somebody, we also felt that there was a definite need to spread the word. And Chris's organization does that in many ways. And so it's a natural fit for my wife and I and our Oregon Trail organization to be part of what they're doing as well. Well, the biggest thing for, I think, the Chris Plug organization is that people just sign up on their driver's license or whatever. Right now, only I think 60% of the population have checked that box on their driver's license to be a deceased donor. And I remember back in the 70s when I got my driver's license, it was kind of a no-brainer. You just check that box. And to me, that's, that's like the chicken and the egg for breakfast. You really don't have to be that committed. But if you want to have bacon, then you really got to get committed. And that's where the living donation comes in. So if people are interested in living donation, that's a whole other step. Not everybody can qualify. You have to be in pretty good health. And it's just not for everybody. So, but if that does interest somebody, we recommend or suggest to get evaluated. It's free. The evaluation is probably going to be the best physical you'll, you'll ever get. And if you think that living donation is something, just get evaluated. Right now, one out of 750 people are born with one kidney. That's a, there's a lot of people walking around on one kidney and we've met a lot of them. So not only is it reassuring to know that you can live on one kidney, there's a lot of people that might want to donate to that only have one kidney. Yeah, Chris, uh, I, read, I read your story. Um, living, up, living in Bend, growing up in Bend, our son lives there. It was kind of an, uh, in, an interesting correlation. Our son back in the early 90s w w didn't want to ski. He wanted to learn how to snowboard. So I think your organization is fantastic. Your story is fantastic. And what you're doing is great. And we're proud to be part of this organization in any way we can. And to people out there, um, there's a need. And if you think you want to consider living donation, I think it's something to at least give it a shot. And as far as deceased donation, checking the box on the driver's license, I don't know of any good reason why people don't do that to be quite honest. So thank you.